Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the herringbone half double crochet stitch. In order to get started, we're going to need a few things. A 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Number four, medium worsted weight yarn. I'm going to be using Wander 100% acrylic. A tape measure, a pair of scissors, and a darning needle. Starting off, we're going to attach the yarn onto our hook. Then chain 80 for our foundation chain. Next, I'm gonna work in the second chain from the hook. This chain right there, that's the one I'm gonna be working in. Yarn over, insert my hook in that second chain from the hook, yarn over again, pull through that loop. Now I have three chains on my hook. I'm gonna continue to pull this first loop through the middle loop. Right there. Now I have two loops left. Yarn over again and pull through the last two loops. Let's do that again. Into the next chain, yarn over, insert my hook in that chain, yarn over again, pull through the loop. Here are my three loops. Continue to pull that all the way through that middle loop, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So keep doing that all the way across for the foundation chain.
row number two, chain one and turn the project. All the way across, we're gonna repeat the herringbone half double crochet. So let's do this very first one together, right in that first stitch, yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over and pull through that loop. So now we have all three loops on the hook. Keep pulling it through that middle loop, yarn over, pull through the last. It's super easy to have your tension get really tight as you get going, which is why it's important to have your tape measure on hand. So at the end of each row, I just suggest measuring it and making sure that it's 23 inches. That way the whole square should be 23 by 23 inches. So do that all the way across to finish row number two.
For rows number three through 60, we're gonna repeat row number two. And just remember that as you're going to use your tape measure and make sure that your tension is staying consistent and the square is staying a 23 inches. Once you have all 60 rows done, grab your darning needle, weave in both of these ends, and that's it. Your second square for the Stitch and Scream Crochet Along Blanket is totally finished. I hope that you love this stitch. And as always, if you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't joined the Ghoul Squad. Turn on that notification so you'll know exactly when March's stitch is released. And just as a reminder, every single stitch will be released the first Friday of that month. But thank you for hanging out with me learning this herringbone half double crochet stitch. Have a fantastically spooky rest of your night and I will see you in my next video.